You're welcome. You're welcome. You're welcome. Happy Thursday, everybody. All right, all right, all right, all right. Now, you must remember when Donald Trump claimed his campaign was being spied on and the mainstream media called him crazy. Well, much like most things today, Trump ends up calling it correctly. He's like a white version of Miss Cleo. <laughs> Don't remember her, huh? R.I.P. <laughs> Now, a new report from Michael Schellenberger, Matt Taibbi, and Alex Gutentag at Public backs up Trump's assertion. They say the U.S. intelligence community, quote, illegally mobilized foreign intel intelligence agencies to target Trump advisors long before the summer of 2016. Yes, this was before the election. The government and foreign powers actually spied on Trump, along with others, in his campaign in order to keep him from running and you from voting making them lower than Joe Biden's scrotum on a hot day. <laughs> Allegedly, the U.S. asked the other members of the Five Eyes, love their burgers, these are intel agencies from the U.S., Britain, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, to spy on Trump. In other words, that global criminal enterprise known as the Democrats first decided Russian collusion was true, then had their comrades look for evidence. If true, our spies illegally surveilled United States citizens for political reasons. But why, you ask? Well, Trump was the first real anti-establishment candidate to have a chance at becoming president. And the establishment wouldn't have it. So they committed to taking him out. And when he rightly suspected it, he and his supporters were mocked mercilessly, accused of anything and everything. And then as a deflection, they used the P-tape, which never existed. Yet, the media lapped it up like Joe over a fresh bowl of cream rinse. <laughs> now, according to this new report, intel related to this alleged surveillance of the Trump campaign is in a 10-inch binder that Trump ordered declassified at the end of his term. Well, he says 10 inches, but it's probably more like six. <laughs> but apparently, the whereabouts of the binder are unknown. So where could it be? Maybe it's in the garage with Joe's Corvette, next to the hooker that Hunter dismembered. <laughs> Maybe it's under a pile of coke in the West Wing, or somewhere no one would ever look under Jerry Nadler's extra lap skin. <laughs> and so they can hate Trump all they want, but he's protected by the same laws as everybody else. The United States Constitution doesn't close out with, this is all true unless we don't like you. If you wanted proof of a deep state, the deep state just served it up. And you might want to re-examine your own hate for Trump, because likely it's also based on a hoax served directly to you by the same <laughs> And again, Trump called it while others played dumb. Or maybe they aren't playing. Here's a golden oldie from our favorite lemon. Maybe the biggest lie <laughs> of all, repeatedly, and with no facts to back him up, making the outrageous claim that the so-called deep state spied on his campaign. He did it again today. But I hope it's not true, but it looks like it is. It's not true. It's a lie. Wow, that guy's really good. What time is his show on? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sorry. He's currently wiping down the sneeze guard at a Yonkers sizzler. Love that guy. I miss him. Anything more to add, Don? Is this not just an angry president popping off? This is not just an angry president popping off. This is a deliberate and coordinated effort to save his presidency, to cast doubt on the Russia investigation by repeating a lie. And that repetition is a key part of, of the strategy here. Because if you hear him say the same thing over and over and over, it gets into your head. You may even start to wonder if there's some truth to it. Mm. Well, that aged as well as Nancy Pelosi's stem cells. <laughs> and it wasn't just the media denying it. Former director of national intelligence James Clapper said the same thing. Did the intelligence community spy on, on President Trump and his campaign? Uh, no, we did not. Mm. How is this hairless tree sloth not in jail? We've imprisoned protesters for taking selfies at the Capitol while this guy lied under oath and also tried to subvert an election. Obama was asked about the spying allegations, too. The allegations are so absurd that even Republican-controlled committees, you know, looking into it, have dismissed them. And, you know, uh, Attorney General Barr uh, has 
dismiss them. You do not allow the politicization of the criminal justice system, the intelligence system, the military, right? That that, mm -hmm. that is stuff that you keep out of politics. Oh, uh, really? I would say that Obama should be eating crow, but we know he prefers dog. Do I have to explain to you that he once ate a dog? <laughs> For the, I'm going to my grave making sure everybody knows that Obama ate a dog. <laughs> it's in his book. So where's the media and Dems on this story now? Have they learned their lesson? Sorry, if they were capable of learning from their mistakes, they wouldn't be Democrats. But it also must kill them that three reporters, Schellenberger, Taibbi, and Gutentag, did all the work that they refused to do. And these reporters don't work for legacy media, perhaps because they're just too honest and too good. They make everyone else look like the hacks that they are. Now, I'm sure if Trump wins again, those in power will find another conspiracy to explain it or prevent it. They'll go after the voters like they always do. They're already hunting Trump and his supporters like their egg rolls under the seat cushions at The View. <laughs> and if Biden, this sputtering, desiccated mess, somehow wins, sorry, you have little reason to believe it's legit. Because in America, you're innocent until proven guilty, but that's for you, not the government. Because the government holds the power to deceive, spy, and ruin you, and also cover it up with a corrupt fake news media. So really, it's up to them to prove that they aren't guilty. After all, if they could spy on a president and then lie about it, imagine what they could do to you. Let's be welcome tonight's guest. When this shark bites, you'll need last rites. Shark Tank star Kevin O'Leary. As a former Miss Florida Citrus, she never has to worry about scurvy. Host of the Morgan Ortega Show on Sirius XM, Morgan Ortega. If he gave a eulogy, even the corpse would walk out. Actor, comedian, and writer Jamie Lissau. And she's the first author to weigh less than her book. New York Times bestselling author and Fox News contributor Kat Tip. Kevin, how you doing? Great. It's, it's great. always good to see you. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy that you're here. Thank you. You're welcome. I feel That's wonderful. It. That's good. You should be. Now, let me ask you this. Uh, you know, coming from Canada, and you see how the media pushed this story, and now that the story's no longer there, they don't bother to go and correct it. Are they as bad or worse than the media in Canada? Well, we're not allowed any media in Canada anymore. Mm -hmm. You aware of that? Yes. Yeah, Justin Trudeau said no more media. So <laughs> Canadians just walk around in bliss all day long. <laughs> that is, I'm not yeah. kidding. It's getting pretty crazy up there. Yeah. But they target citizens. They, they try to freeze, freeze bank accounts. And, but over here, they bit, pretty much tried to take a president off the ballot. Yeah, this story is pretty interesting. Obviously, it, there is so much media tension. I want to make a note of something today that really blew my mind. I was looking at advertising data from last week. Mm -hmm. That includes unpaid media. So you look at entities that somehow scored stories in unpaid media on all channels. Mm -hmm. Trump got 80% wow. of the unpaid media. Nobody else got any other time. The guy is sucking dry his competitors from getting near media. He's not paying for that media. Mm -hmm. So if you're Nikki Haley or Biden, you're saying, wait a minute. Where's the fair time rule? Mm -hmm. Everything's Trump all day long. Whether you hate him or you love him, that's pretty good marketing. Yeah, it's his world. We're just living in it, which is exactly what happened in 2016. Everybody gave him time, and then he won. I don't know how it's going to go, Morgan, but I know if he loses, it's going to be rigged. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, Morgan, uh, what do you think? It, it, it's kind of bizarre how everything that Trump says is going to happen or has had it, it always turns out that he's I at least directionally true. Yeah, and when he first says it, you think, well, that can't be true. That <laughs> sounds crazy. Uh, and then it turned out to be true. I mean, listen, Durham, John Durham, the special counsel, did a four-year investigation in which he basically said, concluded, yeah, this really was a hoax. This was unfounded. The problem is, is where's the accountability in any of this? I don't recall really anybody, you know, getting fired from... Yeah. 
the FBI or the CIA are held accountable. Instead, they all get cable news contracts. And as somebody who went into the intelligence community after 9-11, because I wanted to serve my country after that happened, it has been so frustrating to see the intelligence community turn into something that's attacking our political process. If you want to talk about attacking democracy, this is attacking democracy, and you're politicizing a community that is supposed to be there to protect the homeland. Mm -hmm, that's right. You know, Jamie, I didn't write this question. Okay. <laughs> Does the CIA spying on Trump remind you of when you would spy on your wife and kids while they were enjoying their very happy new life without you? Wow. <laughs> yeah, I remember, I remember once my, my ex-wife was like, hey, quit spying at me through the window. And I was like, hey, you told me to clean the gutters, and then you locked it. <laughs> <laughs> I think there should be repercussions. I think someone from the CIA, I think they should get fired. I think... If you get fired from the CIA and you're surprised by it, you totally deserve it. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's true. Do you know what I mean? Trump is, he's kind of always right. Mm -hmm. And is it, I, I wish someone would go, I was wrong, or there should be some. I was impressed by Trump in all of this, especially when you go back. Like, his clips really do age well. And I was also impressed that, that um, they were spying on 26 associates. Mm -hmm. I was like, that's a popular guy, man. I, don't, I, 20, I only have one associate's degree. <laughs> <laughs> and think about all this stuff we didn't cover, like Hunter's laptop mm -hmm. being deemed uh, Russian misinformation. I mean, we could have learned so much. We never, I, one of my favorite stories, we never found out about um, cocaine in the White House. I think yeah. about it. I think about it every day. Like where <laughs> I go, where did the co and people go? Oh, come on! It was Hunter's, and I go, I don't think it was. I think Hunter, it wasn't his because there was some left. Yes. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It you know is I mean? Like if true. You, like if you're doing cocaine, the correct dosage is the rest of it. Yes. And um. <laughs> And like, you're never doing cocaine and somebody goes like, oh my God, we got way too much. <laughs> do you guys have like, do you guys have Tupperware or something? Or our yes. eyes are bigger than our noses. Yes. No one ever says I have leftover coke lying never. around. Never. Oh yeah, come on over, there's some coke over yeah, there. You, have, Bill, you take it to work. If you leave it here, yes, we're just gonna yeah. do it all. Would you like to take some cocaine home, co yeah. cocaine home with we you? We got way too much. <laughs> Kat, has anyone ever spied on you before? If so, you could probably relate to the dawn. I remember one moment in which you were spied upon. Do you remember that? Wait, no. What? The, the guy with the drone. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't that happen to everybody? Yeah. <laughs> we're you all looked out a window. Well, yes. a great story. Yes. Well, yeah, there was like a drone outside my window and I got out of the shower. Yeah. <laughs> like... There was a guy down from downstairs outside yeah. in the park with a drone outside her window. Yeah, and it was like, it, and I put something on and I was like, well, it's too late for that. Yeah. But, wow. you know, and yeah. they And they let off Ducey with a slap on the wrist. <laughs> <laughs> Did they catch the guy? Police were looking for a guy with great timing. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah, no, I, look, it's whatever. All right, I'm sorry I brought it up. Anyway. Yeah, it's, it's so painful. No, it's okay. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, you were all being spied on probably in like some sense, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't understand how many times we hear these these kinds of stories and people still kind of take the CIA at face value when they're like, we would never. Yeah. Um, because they often do. I even looked at a lot of, the, I went back and looked at a lot of the media back when Trump was saying this and it was so much more than, than Don Lemon. I mean, the yes. Washington Post, mm -hmm. really mad at, at, at this place. Um, yeah. And saying things like, well, spying's in the eye of the beholder and just all these different. And it, they did actually kind of the reverse, which you're, you're you know, you're supposed to be curious as a member yeah. of the media and just being like, okay, we want to just come out and say this didn't happen. It really, I mean, this is explosive, that what's coming out now, but is it? Or did it really just mostly require somebody giving enough of a to check? Exactly. <laughs> I feel like nobody does anymore. Nobody gives a crap. Mm -mm. Nobody gives a crap. You know what the, the worst defense of the spying that still drives me crazy? If you're doing, if you're doing you nothing wrong. You used to wrong, say that all the time. I know, I changed my mind. Okay. If you do nothing wrong, why should you be worrying, worried about spying? And then I realized there are a lot of things I do that technically aren't wrong, but if you ever saw me do it, you would feel really gross. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> I do, and yet I can't stop. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis you will not get it anywhere else.